Hello and a very warm welcome to Meghan and Harry News YouTube channel. As I stated yesterday, I believe there is a very good chance that Meghan and Harry have already responded to the coronation invite, and the firm and the media probably already know the answer, but are not revealing it, because most probably it makes the royal family look bad that they have turned it down. Or alternatively, the firm are attempting to negotiate with Meghan and Harry after them turning down the invitation and are trying to woo them to go to the coronation because they know if it is revealed to the public that they have snubbed them or turned them down, then it's a big slap in the face for the firm. And it also highlights that Meghan and Harry don't see the coronation as important, which will filter into the public and manifest the reality that in actual fact it isn't important. The media's job is to try and create the illusion for the public that the royal family and this coronation is of utmost importance when it's completely meaningless to them. In fact, it's actually the UK public over a billion, over £100,000 in costs, but over £2 billion in lost earnings, and they claim that they will bring an estimated £1 billion in revenue. That still leaves you with a £1 billion loss. Here we see Meghan Markle and Prince Harry give the biggest indication yet that they will not attend King Charles's coronation. It wouldn't surprise me if they responded to the invitation straight away and said no, but the media and the firm don't want the public to hear about it in that way. They want to create some convoluted story. It continues, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have given the biggest indication yet that they will not attend King Charles's coronation. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have remained silent following a statement confirming they have received an invitation to the event. However, in a potentially telling move, Ma Meghan and Harry have missed the RSVP date for the ceremony. The cut-off date was April the 3rd, but staff have still not been told whether the Sussexes will attend despite the coronation now being just one month away. Okay, so there was a cut-off date for responding to invitations, and that was a few days ago. So seeing that there is no news, we should just presume they didn't answer. Royal insiders are said to be none the wiser on whether the couple will attend. Buckingham Palace has not commented, commented on the Sussex's non-RSVP, but an aide said it was unlikely there would be a strict cut-off date for family members, as there would be for other guests. A source told the Daily Mail, Everything is still up in the air and there's only a month to go. All people have been told is that it should hopefully be resolved soon. I believe that the firm and the media know exactly whether or not Meghan and Harry are going, and all of these toxic tabloid stories are aimed at creating drama, stories out of nothing, a big drama out of nothing. It continues on, but in the meantime, the te teams are trying to finalise plans for 2,000 guests, many of whom are international heads of states and VIPs. It's a headache. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's refusal to announce whether they are attending the coronation has put King Charles in a heartbreaking limbo when it comes to Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, according to a royal author. Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet will not have a role at the coronation due to the children being very young. See how the story is then attempting to paint Charles in a positive light by using their children, stating that Meghan and Harry's refusal to announce has created a heartbreaking limbo for Charles and Meghan and Harry's children. These toxic tabloids are disgusting. The reason that Meghan and Harry are thousands of miles away in a different country is because they were hounded out of the UK because of the media attack dogs and their accomplices, which include the firm. If they are in any kind of limbo, which they aren't, but if they were, it would be down to the firm and the media. The amount of pointless speculation from the media and the lack of any announcement about Meghan and Harry going to the coronation does seem like a big drama being created for stories, and also for promotion for the coronation. At the moment, looking at these stories are coming out, it looks like Meghan and Harry have turned them down, and they are making out that they haven't received a response in order to pretend that the firm have not been rejected. All of this could easily be cleared up by Meghan and Harry making a quick announcement. One of the royal rotors, Phil Dampier, thinks otherwise. He says, I'm sure if they had made an early decision to attend and accept the King's invitation with good grace, it would have been seen as the first step in rebuilding their relationship. 
and Archie and Lilibet would have been welcomed with open arms. I think when it comes to royal reporters, we can safely assume that whatever they say, just presume it's the opposite and you'll be on the right track. Let me know your opinion in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.